Hey, welcome to Geeky Faucets. I'm Amy Dale. And I'm Christine Lucas Savage. And this is episode 38. And today we are going to be talking about geek then versus now. Which is huge for me. Yeah? Because, no, seriously, like, way back, like, the people I grew up with are, like, the stereotypical geeks, like, super geniuses who love anime, manga. Like the Big Bang Theory. They, they, they <laughs> are, no, seriously, my life, I, I, was, I lived the Big Bang Theory. I was, like, the dumb penny girl, and then we had all these nerd people who were the most amazing, smart people, and I totally took them for granted. It was horrible. You know, I was always like, I don't want to associate with these people, and, like, I had to take one, I had to drive one to school. Um... One of our, I, that sounded terrible. I had to drive one of my friends to school, but I was not happy about it. I'm like, I don't want to be seen with this guy. And la la la, got it on and on and on. And it was horrible. Oh, to school, that was awesome. I love that. So Why? <laughs> I, no, but, but back then, like in high school, it was horrible. It was humiliating. And mean. Yeah. No, it was terrible. Because I'm like, I don't want to be associated because he's kind of a dork and he's really smart and kind of weird and la uh, you know, and every time everybody came over, I mean, I tried to be gone. Like, my house was like the inner sanctum of geekdom. Like, seriously. Yeah, I've met your mom. I think she would foster that. She would. Yeah. And so they would all come over, and I'm like, <clears throat> bye-bye. I'm going to my friend's house to the normal people, quote-unquote, yeah. normal. And, you know, it wasn't until, you know, it always had a bad stigma for me. I'm like, gosh, people who like superheroes, that's so weird. And people who are like, that's so weird. And then, you know, this, is, this has only been fairly recently, pretty much since I moved up here, so a couple of years ago, where I'm like, this is so dumb. Like, what? This stuff is great. No wonder these people like it. I mean, I kind of figured it out before, you know, and I started being much nicer to the person I had to take to school, which if you ever, if you watch this, you probably know who you are, and I'm really sorry, and I really love you now. A lot. <laughs> just so you know, and I feel really, really bad and guilty about it, I'm just saying. Um... But anyway, no, but it's changed because now, like, those guys are so fun to hang around with, and they're hilarious, mm -hmm. and once you, like, get in with them, like, they're going to be the best people to you. Yeah. Do you know, like, they're the most loyal, wonderful people, but, you know, back when, when it was weird, like, oh, God, you like comic books? Yeah. You're kind of a moron, you know? That was... Yeah. I was kind of a snotty little biatch, I'm just saying. Yeah, well, and for me, what happened, what prompted this show <clears throat> is... I went into my dentist office, and the lady there was like, oh, you just, your daughter dress is so cute, because I was like, so I have this daughter, Shay, who is like little fashionista, and she's, without even trying, I don't even know, she puts stuff together, and she just looks super high fashion, cute, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know where that came from, <laughs> but like, here's my t-shirt, <laughs> so I was talking to the dentist about it, I was like, yeah, I mean, like, I still wear the same thing I wore, you know, I've worn forever, like, my geek t-shirts and jeans and converse and she's like oh but geek is really cool now and I was like it is really she was like yeah that's like the cool thing now and I was like oh awesome well I guess if you just hang in there long enough it becomes cool <laughs> but it was just really weird to me because I guess well I mean when we went to Denver Comic Con honestly it got a little bit under my skin <laughs> that MTV was there and they were like the big presence there the MTV crew and the reason I think it got under my skin is because they're the cool kids. I'm like, you have the cool thing. Like, like let go us have do, our own. Go do your cool things. Go interview rock stars and stuff. But and it we'll, is cool to be a geek But now. see, I, didn't, I hadn't made the transition in my head, I guess. I didn't know it was cool. Because, you know, when I grew up, I remember actually in elementary school, I was on the honor roll. And I was like, everybody called me a nerd. And all this stuff. And I loved all my sci-fi and all this stuff. But... I made, I remember making a decision in my mind in middle school that I was like, I'm not going to be a nerd anymore. And I kind of like just decided to do okay in school. Like I wasn't going to try. <laughs> I'm serious. I believe you. I like totally remember doing that. Like I'm just going to coast through school and I'm going to, you know, like just be cool. But I wasn't really cool. I was just kind of, I mean, I, I didn't have a clique. You celebrated group. mediocrity. Almost. I you fit know? in with everybody. I was like a chameleon. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But no, I was the I same way. I, I was never in. I learned to make friends with everybody really fast. I was the same way. I was never in a clique of people. I moved around. I mean, there was definitely some people that I hung out with more than others, but I was able to. Yeah, but do it's that. very strange to me 
to think now that this has become, but I think the thing is, is that it's not fully cool. It's like there's varying degrees of it that are cool. Mm -hmm. Like if you go to Comic Con <clears throat> and maybe do a really hot cosplay, it's really cool. But, but if you actually get down and read the mangas translated into Korean or Japanese, then people yeah. are like, huh. or if you're super, like if you go LARPing, like, you know, there's certain aspects of it that I feel like people have accepted and then other areas of it where it's like, oh, you're wearing a Star Wars shirt. That's awesome. Okay, I went to a ladies retreat a couple weekends ago and I wore my, my favorite new t-shirt, which is my Star Wars t-shirt I wore a couple shows ago. I love it. I got it at Target in the men's section because, you know, we've discussed this before. Anyway, <laughs> but I love that shirt, and I'm telling you the funniest thing at women's retreats. They're like, I love your t-shirt. All these women. I'm thinking, really? Do you like it because it's cute? Or So I didn't go into depth, but the other thing I had, I had several people say that to me, but the main thing I had, my boys would love you. My kids would just love you so much. They would just think you were the coolest mom ever. Because I like so all the stuff cool that like, you're the cool five-year-old boys like. <laughs> I was like, thank you. I'm not sure how to take that. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, your boys have really good taste, is what I said, you know? What do you? Yeah. What can you say to that anyway? It's awesome you know? stuff. But I think that it's, it's very weird because I have these different reactions to people that I talk to. But I'm like, yeah, I'm really into geek stuff, and I do a geek podcast, and whatever else, and we talk about it. And there's those people that, like, glaze over that are like, I uh -huh. mean, you watch sci-fi voluntarily? Weird, you know? And yeah. then, like, the other people who are, like, the ones who feel like they still have to stay in the closet because they don't think it's cool, you know? And they're like, oh, you watch that, too? I watch that. And they feel like it has to be It's kind of freeing to just not care anymore and be like, yeah, I really like Doctor Who, and I really like... Firefly, and I really, really like Star Wars and Princess Bride and all that stuff, and it's okay. It Do you is, know what I mean? yeah, like, and it's, it's super weird free. though to go into like, like for instance, <clears throat> Hot Topic. Okay, so when I first started watching Doctor Who, which was well, when I was a kid, I watched it with my dad. Watched and that with my mom, and that was you know in my days when I was horrible <laughs> and didn't appreciate it. I what it was. I watched it with my dad. Actually, classic Star Trek and Doctor Who. That was what we watched a lot. And, um, but now, like, going into Hot Topic, and they have this whole Doctor Who section, and all these people come in and know what it is. And it's weird to me. Like, I feel like normally, like, for instance, I dressed up on, <laughs> on Halloween last year. I put tally marks all over me. And one of my That's husband's kind of workers obscure. said, what are you? And I said, well, it's from Doctor Who. And then later, like, a few days later when I saw him, he goes, so which Dr. Seuss character were you? <laughs> I was like, like no, no, no. And that's how I'm but used to. But the thing of it is still, weird. still though, I think like you and I will go to the places that, and we know people who are into the geekdom, so it seems a little bit more, it, and it is a lot more popular now, but there's still so many people who are kind of like, what, what are you talking about? Because I'm in this woman's small group, and I'll start talking about stuff, and they're like, what? We mm -hmm. only know about that because of you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And... So there's still a whole bunch of people, but it's not as weird. I mean, it still is, but it's not as weird as it once was. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just... It's yeah. strange, though. I know. I mean, I know, like, in... And that's what I said to somebody when I saw the whole MTV thing. I think it was Tony, the guy who we had on our show on episode two. Tony Vilgiotti. I was saying something about being irritated that MTV was there. And I was like, go do your cool kid things. Let us be. You know? Mm -hmm. And he goes, but you are the cool kids now. And I was like... Oh. I am not. <laughs> you know, like I'm almost offended by that. I am not a cool kid. But, you know, I mean, like, I think that it's, there's, like I said, like, there's aspects of it that are really cool. And so MTV's there, like, with their cool flannel shirt. They look all Colorado. Did you notice that? I was like. I didn't notice that. They're such posers. I'm just kidding. Wow. So, Amy. I had a hard time with the MTV people. So, did really you nice. have a hard time with MTV? I did. I, I did. So, so, anyway, I think it's interesting, though, because I'm not sure. And it's. I think it's, like, so individual, too, I guess. Because you talk to some people, and they're still in the whole, like, what? Like we said, you know, like, what are you talking about? Or the, like, clearly you're automatically a freak because you started talking about, you know, like. Yeah, no, I've had, I've had the, the so eyes gloss know. over I thing. Like, and it's probably different with kids <clears throat> than it is with adults. Like, I have no idea teenage-wise. Like, in a high school today, like, if I went in and just fully flaunted, like, whatever I was into, like, if that would be, like, if that would make me cool, or if it would be, like, 
because I'm Locked like, okay, okay are today's you youth. trying too hard? But Hot Topic you know? has all that stuff, so and they're pretty like catering to that age group, so maybe it's cool. I don't, I don't know. I maybe don't. that's what's happening is that this generation that's coming up behind us. It's because the people that I talk to about it mostly are grown-ups. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think what's going to happen is that it's going to be more accepted and it's becoming more mainstream because Doctor Who's pretty cool. Like, as a show, oh, you know a what I mean? Great show. Like, it's not so... Because, you know, sci-fi kind of way back when... It's, I mean, it was a bit cheesy. I mean, nobody can disagree with me on that. And it was kind of like, okay, really? But Chihuahua it's kind of gotten dance, a little... Like, dressed as an alien. Right, but it's kind of gotten a little bit cooler now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not... That's true. I mean, it's stuff that everybody... Well, maybe not everybody would want to watch, but it's stuff that I would think everybody would watch and be like, oh, this actually isn't so bad, but maybe I could be wrong. Because I've yeah. had girls who watch it who are like, I don't get it <laughs> at all. As have I. Okay, so I have to tell you something that's kind of interesting off topic. Um, so, John and I watched World War Z recently. We rented it. How was that? I've been afraid to watch it. I read the book. Well, I don't recommend it to you because... Well, like, I, I was like, I'll be fine. I watched The Walking Dead. Psh. Well, it was just like, The Walking Dead, like, gives you breathing space, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, not all the zombies are, like, super fast and tense. But in this, like, they changed. Like, when somebody got bit, they changed in, like, 12 seconds. And then they were, like, raging, fast, super Olympians. Oh, my God. That could, like, run after That's you and scary. kill you. And so it was super, the whole time you were just like... <laughs> You know, like you were very, it was very intense. It was good, but it was really, really intense the whole time. But what I thought was kind of funny is the new doctor was in it. Peter Car Capaldi. Capaldi. Yeah. Is that his name? I think so. Who I'm still, you know. I'm excited for him. She's excited. Yeah, I'm skeptical. I'm, I'm doing. So that's what's happening here. But anyway, they were in this plane that was going down and they had to land in car. They said that there was, because he wanted to find a World Health Organization. And they landed in Cardiff, which is where Doctor Who is filmed. Mm -hmm. And he went to the World Health Organization, WHO. And who should be there? But Doctor Who himself. Yeah, that's I was kind like, of amazing. I wonder if that I love was when that, that happens. accident that all that happened. It all that, if together. that was done on purpose, I seriously kudos to you, Mr. Writer and Director. I watched it with John, and he didn't really feel the excitement. You know, yes. he was like. Mm, he's like, probably that's I was like, exciting. no, look, it's in Cardiff, and it's the World Health Organization, Doctor Who, and he's the new doctor. And, and I still watched I watched him on there. I was like, okay, win me over. And it didn't happen. Sorry, Peter. I'm sure you're a great guy. I want <clears> it to happen. I want him to be great. He will be. He's old. I don't care. I do. Old people are awesome, too. I think old people are awesome, too. But um, not as Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just, you know what I think happened? I think I have memories of watching Doctor Who as a kid, and they were always older doctors, mm. and they were. It was a. It was not a fast-paced show at that point. Well, but this is. That. But this is the new Doctor. I know. And this is the new round of Doctors. So it was a slow show then. And give them like, a chance. Mm. Give geeks a chance. <laughs> yes. All we are saying is give geeks a chance. Okay. So what are your experiences like? You know, are you free to geek out? Are you still in the closet? Are you, like, what, what are your thoughts? Because, you and know, also, we know ours. What do you think about, like, if you are in high school, if you're that age, or if you are kind of, you know, what do you think about that? Like, like our generation cool to be a geek in high school versus, right now. Because our generation, I don't think is there. Like, We're, I still no, think that not, we are holding on to the past as far as what people think of geeks. Because when somebody says to me it's cool, I'm always like, no, it's not. Like, cause I still have it in my head, like from when I was, you know, in high school and a kid. I always thought, well, that no, it's not cool. But I think um, I am, would be interested to hear what it's like now, if it's cool. You know? Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. So thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>